All right. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Um, the duality of the prodigal son. You know, prodigal means, you know, wasteful, you know, reckless. So the duality of the reckless son. I'm going to do one on this, one on duality of Jezebel, too. Um, for some odd reason, we love our prodigal sons. We have hope that they won't be prodigal their whole lives. And here's the thing. In hoping that they come around, they waste and destroy a lot of things that maybe other siblings or other family members are entitled to or work for or were supposed to inherit. You know, sometimes People spend a lot of time and effort chasing around the prodigal, the prodigal son to, uh, let me get him out of jail, let me get him out of trouble, let me get their grades right, let me, you know, oh, they, 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 didn't, they didn't take care of this, they, they, let, me, let me fix it. Prodigal sons get enabled a little too much. The duality is this. You got them wanting to do the right thing, but then wanting to still be reckless. You know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it outside the box. You know, I mean, I might fail a million times, but that one time when I get it right, it's going to square everything. No, it's not. You know, the duality in you know expectations and results you know you have high expectations for the prodigal and the prodigal has high expectations for themselves and the results never really pan out but you know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result which that doesn't happen you know just doesn't happen. So, you know, now, then you have the moment where you, where you have faith versus reality. You have faith that they gonna, you know, be the hero. But the reality is, they're dragging the whole family down with their reckless and wasteful behavior. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you're supposed to give up on all the prodigal sons. No, what I'm saying is, you got to let them be prodigal on their own. You know, let them make their own mistakes and don't cover for them. That's what it's basically about. You know, people spend too much, too, too, just too much effort chasing around the prodigal sons. And then you have... You know, how can they say it? Parenting wise, attention versus effective. Because you can have two sons, okay? One of them could be the prodigal son, one of them be the, you know, the L7, hell, the square, right? L7 don't give you no problems. Prodigal son is always in some shit. Where you at? Chasing around a prodigal son. Who you leaving all the time? L7. You know, hey, they gonna be all right. They gonna be all right. They always, they know what they doing. You know, I got to, I, I, I don't have to worry about them. I have to worry about the one that's fucking up. No, you have to worry about the one that's doing the right thing because you basically tell the one that's doing the right thing. I'm not concerned about you until you start fucking up. So, now, speaking on that, that doesn't work for the square versus the prodigal son. I'll tell you why. The square, people will be, I'm so disappointed in you. Which is another duality in, in itself. You know, I'm disappointed in what you did and how you did it. That is just terrible. But it wouldn't be a 
fraction of the shit that the prodigal son has been doing for years. Which brings another situation up, up into play, you know. Forgiveness. The things the prodigal son does over and over again is constantly being forgiven. Somebody else makes a mistake, they meant to do it, it's on purpose. Like, like the prodigal son didn't mean to be a fuck up all the time. Well, we all say that, you know, do something once, it's an accident. You do something twice, gotta watch it. Do something three times, it's a habit. So if they haven't done something for years, that's past three times. It's a habit. It's who they are. That's, that, that's their character. So to have all this forgiveness is ridiculous. What I mean by prodigal son is, I mean, you know, the consummate screw up, even the jailbird, the moocher, um, the lazy jobless one that everybody looks out for. Uh, the troublemaker, the one that y'all let go party all the time because they got, you know, they got they got a lot on their mind. They don't do shit, but they got a lot on their mind. I don't understand that. But those kind, you know, because of everybody covering for them, you basically made them you gave them a pass to just fuck up their life. Now, what happens when they have kids? You know what happens? The same people that's been cleaning up their messes raise the kids. So this is the duality of the prodigal son, you know. Or I should call it the problems with the prodigal son. Because it's a lot of prodigal sons in this country, and the funny part about it is, man, we got to give them first chances, second chances, third chances, 27 chances, 265 chances, a thousand chances. But that, but that, the, the person who actually made a mistake, or oh, zero tolerance, you want it done, you out of here, you 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 should know better. And I think that's just bullshit. All right.